the hospital was uh, the Lewis and Clark Hospital. It was originally made in 1904. It's when it opened its doors, and uh, you know it was, a, it was a pretty good, solid running hospital at first, and uh, and then just as the years went on, there was gangs in the area, and uh, it just it started losing funding. The death rate was really bad in the hospital, and uh, by the 1970s the hospital finally closed its doors. It was a terrible experience going in there. And the reason the reason we caught on originally to the story is a little girl and a young woman that will wander the halls. It's Sadie, and uh, the young girl is Karen. It, it definitely, I definitely felt the feeling that uh, there was there was definitely a lot of a lot of death that went on in that hospital. It was time to go into the basement where about the most activity happened. This place is eerie. We went into this little inner area and there was a few more do do doors in there and my cameraman Cal, he, he felt something brush up against his neck. Anything in here? Not here in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something just moved by my neck. Picking up a slight sound. I'm gonna try locking myself in here. Hold on, see if I can pick anything up. Sure about that? Yeah. I locked myself in the room and that's where that's where the presence really first started. Something extremely eerie about this place. So he's off in the other room by himself right now. He had some, picked up some really hot readings over there. So. Oh gosh. What is it, what is it, what is it? 
There's definitely something in that room. It threw me out of the chair. There is way too much power in that room. No. It literally threw me from the chair. Is it? Are we? Are we in danger here? Yes. Should we check out the rest of the place, though? We have to stay together, though. Okay. Go keep on. Cal and I ended up going into the next room, and I'm sorry. This is this is kind of a hard topic, isn't it? Yeah. What what was her mother's name? Did that chair just move? No way. Dude, that chair just moved. It probably moved a good foot or so. Dude, oh wasn't that like clear over here? When we first came in here, it was. There's... What, are, are, we deal, are we dealing with a demon right now? Are we dealing with a demon? What are we dealing with? There's definitely... There's definitely something in here that is... Whoa! No! Whoa! Holy shit! Hey! Hey! Get off! Get off! Hey! You're okay! You're okay! You're okay! My mom screamed my name and... Did anybody else hear it? No. Just you? It was just me. And from there... I got... I got thrown clear across the room like... Whoo! Oh, you're okay, you're okay. Uh, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Come on, you're good. No, hey, no, no, no. No. This happened, this happened in the past. We're good here. No, we're, we're here to figure this out. I'm here with you. Mike. Mike, come on. Come on, buddy. We have to get rid of this. This is the only... I can't do this. She died in that hospital. And she was not happy that we were there. I just couldn't be there anymore though. I don't, I don't know what it was. I just, I, I had to boogie out of there. I, I couldn't control myself. I was all of a sudden in the car, just trying to speed away from there. I don't know where Cal went. And all I could hear was my mom just screaming my name and I looked in the rear view mirror and that's all I could see was my mom in a white, white gown just all torn up booby hanging out and everything just chasing me screaming my name Mike Mike never to go back there again <laughs>